Hello everybody, Andrea here with Dental L, a little sneak peek inside the Mobile RDH Academy. So what is the Mobile RDH Academy? This is for dental hygienists who are thinking about starting their own dental hygiene practice, or if you are about to start your own dental hygiene practice, this lists step-by-step -step things that you need to be thinking about things you might not have thought about yet, but you will soon come across. And it's basically everything that I went through when I started my dental hy hygiene practice three years ago. I didn't know what to do, where to start. I tried to reach out to our dental hygiene associations. They were a little bit of help, but they couldn't really walk me through things step by step. So that's why I created this course. It literally goes step by step, everything you need to know, everything you need to know. I talk about it. I teach it. So there's no questions. But the nice thing is, if you do have any questions, let me know. I am absolutely here to help. This is the whole point of this course. So basically, I go step by step from step one. So you just simply thinking about opening up your own dental hygiene practice, whether it be a mobile practice or in your own home. This is called Mobile RDH Academy. So it is specific to mobile dental hygiene practices, but I do have my own practice in my own home too. So I talk about that also. Try to look up how to start your own dental hygiene mobile practice. You won't find it. This is the only course, but I go through step by step by step. So step one, think you're probably going to have to take out a loan. How much approximately are you going to take out depending on the type of practice that you want to have? I took out $30,000 and I kind of talked to you guys about why I did that. I talk about some of the major expenses you're going to have, such as a sterilizer, or maybe you're not going to want one. Maybe you can use a sterilizer in a dental practice. I, I, I talk about things like, are you going to need a new laptop or a new computer for a dental hygiene software to um, submit things to insurance companies, or do you prefer to do things on paper? I kind of teach you the expenses of that. And I also teach you some of the mistakes that I made along the way. A really good example is I tried to save money and do everything on paper. I did not invest in a dental hygiene software to submit things electronically to insurance companies. That to me was a mistake because I decided to invest in a software eight months later, but it was a lot of work to bring all of my paper charts now into that software. It just was a ton of work, but I talked to you guys about all of that. So I talked to you guys about my practice specifically. I talked to you about my mobile portable dental unit. I have the handpiece hookup, the high speed, the uh, slow speed. I have a piezo, so I kind of talk about that too. I talk about getting organized, so things you want to think about, such as how are you going to pack everything into your car? What has worked for me? What do you need to take to every appointment? And what you might not have to take every appointment. I talk about some of my absolute must-have products, but also products that I thought were my must-have products, but then I didn't actually end up using, so they were a waste of money. I talk about appointments. The most important thing, how do I make money? I, I was able to pay off my 30000 loan within one year, and I am currently making a great full-time income working part-time. Yes, I make more working for myself, even with expenses, than I did working in a dental office. So I go through that with you specifically. I tell you exactly how much I make and how I do it. I talk about, do I... Do I accept cash? Do I accept assignment? How do I accept payment? Websites, marketing. I literally go through everything. So you guys have a look. I will leave the link for you guys down below. And I look forward to seeing you inside the Mobile RDH Academy course.